Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Breakdown. 2022 is almost here. Doesn't seem possible. It seems like 2021 just started, but it's almost over. And NASA has some very big plans for 2022. We're going to be breaking down some of the biggest missions that you should know about from NASA in 2022. As we go over all this, these are just some of the missions. I will put a link down below to others so you can get a bigger idea of everything NASA is doing this year. But we're going to pick up some of the biggest missions you should know about. Now, I do apologize. My voice has not fully returned yet. I am mass producing these before my surgery. Unfortunately, I can't wait too long for my voice to recover. So I hope you understand my voice may be a little rough during this video. If you like this content, do me a big favor. We, we release a ton of content like this. We dive into reviews, how-tos, everything you need in all videos and more. Help us grow. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. All right, let's dive into it. In early 2022, no exact date for this yet, NASA will be launching a lunar ice mission. Yes, a new satellite will orbit the moon with the idea of mapping out how much ice is really on the moon, where it is, what kind of density it is, and more. This is important information as part of our plan to colonize the moon, basically, by building a base there. Being able to pull water from the moon, even if it's not for drinking, can be used for many different uses and knowing where ice is and different chemicals are can really help us make a more self-sustainable um, lunar base there. It'd be very interesting to see how this goes. We're going to keep a close eye on this early 2022. We'll be launching to take a look at what's happening in the moon when it comes to the world of ice. Now jumping forward to June, one of the things I think will be very interesting is a Mercury flyby. Now this mission's been tailored down. Originally, we were going to send a Mercury orbiter and a Mercury lander to try to get onto the surface of Mercury to study it. Unfortunately, due to budget cuts, that part of the mission has been canceled and we will be just doing our first close by flyby this year as it gets into orbit to study Mercury. Well, Mercury has been studied before, not to the same extent as other planets. It's very exciting to see this happen, especially compared to Mars, which has had a ton of interest. Mercury has not quite received the same amount of attention, has its own unique issues and more getting there. It'll be very interesting to see what we learn from this mission. So look for that in June 2022 as our first close by um, flyby, but by far, that's not the end of this mission. All right, let's jump forward now to July 2022. Now, Russia has their own Mars, or excuse me, their own lunar lander. This time they're launching to go to the moon to land in the southern polar region to study it. Now, we've studied this area before, but this is going to be a landing there to really dive into the southern polar area to study the um, plasma and the dust in the area, as there's been great debate over if that's a good area to maybe build our base about. We'll have to see what happened here. We have a very real plan to go to the moon, to create some type of permanent infrastructure there, to take advantage maybe eventually someday of all the raw materials on the moon so we don't have to strip the earth of them. We can do that on the moon, for example, and as a launching pad to go deeper into our solar system, eventually deeper into space as a stepping stone. We're also looking at building a space station in general orbit in the kind of Lagrange point behind the moon as a launching point to go deeper in space that we can build um, ships and launch them from there better than we can from our Earth orbit. Also helps with the clutter and growing trouble around Earth to move some of that away, maybe to the moon. We'll see how that all works out. Now in August 2022, we're launching a mission to study Jupiter's icy moons. Now, many different moons have really captured our attention there because they look very ice icy. There's been debates over could they have some type of life, micro, uh, micro level or other, and we're going to go there to study it to see how feasible it is to have life on these planets, to kind of study how much water is maybe, or ice I should say, is really on these moons, and really dive deep into Jupiter. Now it's been a while since we've been to Jupiter at this level. It'll be very interesting for us to dive into it and really explore what's happening in the world of Jupiter and their planets. Now, the next thing is kind of a group of different missions. I know I already talked about the Russian lander. There are actually maybe as many as four landers going to the moon this year. One of them is a 2022-2023 lander, but 
They all seem to be kind of focused on the general idea of learning more about different parts of the moon with the Russian one on the polar and then NASA going to different areas along with the European Space Union, for example, to understand the different regions of the moon, maybe try to pick out what's maybe the best region for us to go to, for us to better understand, and for us to be able to grow and uh, develop a possible base there. It'd be very interesting. From the moon kind of being ignored for a very long time after we went there, is now a very serious target for returning to and studying maybe what's best to do there. We'll have to wait and see. Now, in September 2022, there will be a new Mars rover lane um, going and a Russian um, surface probe going to Mars. Yeah, we haven't forgot about Mars. We definitely still have the ultimate goal of sending humans to Mars. We're continuing to study it, develop it with a new rover that's going to be the most powerful rover we've ever sent there, which is saying something because we've sent quite a few powerful rovers now. We've had great luck with some rovers lasting way longer than we ever anticipated them to. So it'll be very interesting to see how this goes. It's clear though that NASA is really kind of starting to focus down and not just NASA, but Russia, European Space Union, and more on the moon, on Mars, and a few other side projects like Mercury and Jupiter. But the moon and the Mars really seem to be a big focus of 2022 and some missions going forward. I think a lot of that has come down to a goal to get back. Uh, President Bush was one of the first to do that, budget cut, or to really focus on, hey, getting us back to the moon and eventually to Mars. His timeline's not going to make it due to budget cuts. Following presidents have been supportive or less supportive now, and we'll have to kind of see how the current administration really supports this. The previous one really pushed hard for a return to these. It'll be interesting to see if the current administration continues that, or if they decide as their budget priorities come out, that they're going to again pull back in space exploration. Now, I'm a big fan of space exploration. I'm very fan, uh, big fan of some of the conversations about like pulling asteroids into Earth orbit to use those raw materials that we desperately need here on Earth to basically strip them, those asteroids down, bring the raw materials down to Earth, and then the waste we can just eject out maybe to the sun or wherever we want to do with it. Hey, it means we're not doing that to the earth, but we're still getting the raw materials we need to build our phones, our gadgets, our houses, our skyscrapers and more. So I'm very, very excited about that. Hopefully these efforts continue. The moon's a great way to do it. Maybe Mars someday can turn into a great way to access minerals and items we need that we don't want to pull out of the ground here on earth. So we'll have to wait and see how it all goes. Now, I'm no astronomer, I apologize if I mis, uh, misquoted anything here. Check out the link in the show notes down below where I'll break down everything we talk about in this video so you can find out about it for yourself. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll be back with another video real soon. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here.